Welcome to Deanna Reads. My name is Deanna and I read. So the book I'm going to review for you today is called Ripple by Mandy Hubbard. And I know I already talked about how I was going to read my physical books that I own, but this is an ebook that I had on my Kobo. I'm kind of doing like every other one or so. I will just start by reading the summary. Lexi is cursed with a dark secret. Each day she goes to school like a normal teenager, and each night she must swim, or the pain will be unbearable. She is a siren, a deadly mermaid, destined to lure men to their watery deaths. After a terrible tragedy, Lexi shut herself off from the world, vowing to protect the one she loves, but she soon finds herself caught between a new boy at school who may have the power to melt her icy exterior and a handsome water spirit who says he can break Lexi's curse if she gives up everything else. Lexi is faced with the hardest decision she's ever had to make, the life she's always longed for, or the love she can't live without. Did I say who this was by? This is Ripple by Mandy Hubbard. I'm all out of whack today, apparently. And, um... I really enjoyed this book. I know I always say that, but... <laughs> I, it was, Mandy Hubbard's writing style is straight and right to the point, um, but still, like, gives you the picture that you need, but she doesn't have to do it with a bunch of fancy stuff, if that makes sense. I do admit, I did a, some skimming because I didn't really, like, her relationship with um, one of the characters. I don't want to give too much away. I didn't really enjoy it. And there's a reason that I didn't enjoy it because it wasn't a good relationship at all. And um, I did skimming through like some of the descriptions of that stuff. But it was a really good book. Lexi was such a complex character. She, I mean, I know it's all been done. She wants to live a normal life, but um, she has this curse that makes it not possible, really, for her to lead a normal life. So she pushes the ones that she loves away to protect them from her curse because she could potentially drown them. It is a really good book, and it's kind of one of those where you just have to discover things for yourself. It's a it's an interesting twist on the mermaid myth. It integrates interesting bits of mermaid myth into the story like how she is in physical pain when she's walking if she doesn't swim the night before and that can be found in Hans Christian Andersen's um, The Little Mermaid, the real story and when Ariel or, I don't think her name is Ariel. I think she's just the Little Mermaid in Hans Christian Andersen's story. But, um, when she is turned into a human, like, it is painful for her to be on land. Um, uh, it, I think the description is it feels like she's walking on glass. So, um, in the Hans Christian Andersen's, but, um, not in Ripple. I don't remember, but she is in that that kind of pain during the day if she doesn't swim every night. So that was, I liked that. And there's this story, Lexi is kind of dealing with the fact that she has killed somebody because of her curse. She didn't know about her curse until her 16th birthday and she went swimming with a friend and she accidentally um, killed him with her song, her siren song. And she's been dealing with that. After that, she's kind of been ostracized, and she has ostracized herself. So there's this big gap between her and her old normal life, and she's just trying to deal with that. And it's, it's hard for her, definitely. I mean, I think she's... 17 or 18 in this book and she did this when she was 16 and so she's just 
really it's hard it's a hard life I would definitely recommend this book if you're into mermaid um, lore books if you're into mythical kind of things so I would in my rating scale I would definitely own this book it's very enjoyable I look forward to reading more by this author Mandy Hubbard um, Ripple is a standalone book so there uh, as far as I know there won't be any sequels in the future there's no think there's nothing really you need to wrap up it was a it's a good a nice standalone read and that's all thanks for watching keep reading stuff like that there.